Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing textured plaster. So I haven't actually really done this before, but I've seen other applicators do it. It's kind of like where we're gonna be mixing skip trowel look and then cover it with another smooth coat. So it's gonna be kind of a more textured look than we're used to. I usually apply like a smooth finish. That's kind of what I prefer, but today I thought it'd be fun to do something a little different and apply a little bit more textured to our plaster. So this is again the first time I'm doing this, but I thought it'd be fun just to kind of show you guys how it goes. And um, yeah, so let's get to it. So we're gonna be using a coarser Venetian plaster. Our favorite is Marmarino KS. Essentially what this is, is just a coarser, thicker kind of Venetian plaster. This gives you more of a matte finish, kind of an eggshell look. So. Um, there's the high gloss Venetian plasters that are kind of thinner and not as uh, coarse and then the coarser Venetian plasters that give a little bit more texture and uh, more of a matte finish. So any kind of coarse Venetian plaster would work for more of a textured look but we're going to be using Marmara KS. It's kind of in between super coarse and shiny so uh, it's kind of a good balance of both if you're looking for both somewhat of a gloss finish, but also giving you that kind of textured matte look. As always, if you guys are interested in more Venetian plaster content, we have more videos for you guys up here in the playlist. And so go check those out if you're interested in watching more of our Venetian plaster videos. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this kind of stuff, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, let's get to it. So we're gonna be applying this gray Venetian plaster today. Like I said, we're gonna be going for more of a a kind of a textured look here. Um, so the first coat I'm gonna be putting on is kind of gonna be more of like a, a skip kind of a trowel look where you're not covering the whole board or the whole wall with plaster. So we'll do that. So there you have it, our first coat uh, very textured. As you can see, I left some spots blank. So the idea being the second coat, when we do it over the entire thing, we'll kind of go into these cracks. And I kind of just added some texture uh, by moving my trowel around in the wet plaster just to kind of give it even more texture. So this is gonna be really like more of an industrial kind of like textured concrete look. We're gonna let this dry completely so that we don't uh, go over any of this texture that we let, we've we already added on. And then when we go over it again, we'll try to apply it like we do a normal second coat, kind of letting it kind of go into all these cracks and then we'll burnish and I think it'll give us this really, really nice finish texture look. So we'll let it dry and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it has finally dried. So we're gonna go over a second coat. Again, we're gonna cover the entire thing on the second coat. And the idea here being is that the bottom coat is gonna kind of come through on that other coat. So um, yeah, I haven't done this. So I guess this is still the first, you know, this is still like a first time for me. So we're just gonna see what happens. Hopefully it looks good, but um, yeah, there's a lot of texture going on. So hopefully that's a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and we'll check out the final finish in a little bit. It's mostly dry, um, so here's the final look. It is a lot crazier than I thought it was gonna look, but really cool, honestly. So it really doesn't have like any physical texture to it. So I think that second coat really kind of covered up all the texture we did on the first coat. But I think it did add that like crazy like effect you're seeing here right now. So do the texture first and then go over it smooth. You'll get this kind of like exaggerated look. But yeah, no, I think it was really cool to kind of see what would happen here. It still has a really nice sheen to it and it's really actually really fairly smooth. So if you wanted smooth walls, but with a lot of like texture, visual texture, then this would be a good option for you. So maybe apply it with texture first, go over it smooth, and then you'll kind of have that like smooth finish, but like exaggerated texture looks. There you have it, our trial of textured wall not quite textured, but visually textured wall. If you like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys next time. <laughs> 